I'm Ella Lace and welcome back. Today I want to kind of talk about the Sephora sale that's starting April 1st until I think April 11th. So I'm going to share my recommendations, kind of the stuff that I'm going to repurchase myself and the stuff that I think is worth buying during the Sephora sale. I have a mixture of things. We have hair care, we have skin care, we have a couple of tools and then a lot of makeup and brushes. So let's get into it. Let's start first with the skincare. This is more skincare that I use like on an everyday basis that I need to repurchase because I use it literally all the time, even if I'm not wearing makeup. Starting first with my Ren. This is the Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. Next thing I'm going to repurchase are these, the Sephora, the organic cotton pads. It's also kind of like an empties video. <laughs> Next is this Vitamin C Serum by Glow Recipe. This is their Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. I love this stuff. I have a tiny little bit left. I use this every other day just because I use another Vitamin C Serum. But this one right here, it makes my skin feel so good. It makes my skin look so glowy and supple and just full of life. I feel like my skin looks clear, it feels clear, and my dark spots are not as visible. All right, moving on, eye cream. This right here <laughs> looks really gross, but I've been loving this. I've had it for a while and there's still so much left, but this right here is the Orange or Origins, their Jinxing Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. I use this only during the day. I use a different one at night, but ever since I had Elodie, my eye bags and my dark circles have reappeared. <laughs> and I feel like they've gotten even more intense since I've had Emirate. Having two under two, still waking up in the middle of the night, it takes a lot on my eyes. So I, this right here really just brightens my eyes. I love that it has this kind of like a very beautiful glow under the eyes and it, I look awake, I look fresh. <laughs> That's all I need these days. Moving on to moisturizer. This is the one that I usually use when I'm wearing makeup during the day. This is the Bobbi Brown, their vitamin enriched face base. But I like this product because even though it's very thick, it has a nice like kind of um, like a body mousse in a way, the texture, but once you kind of work it in, it's really, really nice. And I like that it never feels sticky. It doesn't feel tacky. My skin kind of soaks it up and it feels really good under makeup. And it's very expensive, so definitely, if you've been eyeing it, definitely check it out during the sale to save a little bit of money. Moving on to sunscreen, this right here is one of my favorites. This is Paula's Choice, their Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF of 30. I like that it's also tinted, so you can wear this on its own. I like to wear this on its own with a little bit of concealer, a little bit of blush, mascara, brows, and I'm out the door. But this is such a good product. I like that it's not super glowy. It has more of like a natural matte finish. Let me actually shake this. But this product I really enjoy. It's one of those few SPFs that doesn't break me out, that doesn't just sit my skin, that doesn't feel heavy. This feels so lightweight. It blends in really nice. One negative, I will say, depending on what kind of moisturizer you wear underneath, it can pill a little bit, the SPF. I really wanted to show you guys the finish of the skincare with the SPF. I just love the look of my skin. It just looks really healthy and up close. The pores are not exaggerated. Everything just looks very natural with a little bit of, just a little hint of like color correction. Let's move on to lip balm. And this right here is by Laneige or Laneige. I'm, I'm, not sh I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but Laneige. This is their lip treatment balm. And I actually really, really love this. It just feels so luxe on the lips and it smells so good. And I love that this little spatula comes with the packaging. That way I don't lose it. Let's move on to primer. This right here is still one of my very well-loved primers. And I'm not the biggest fan of face primers, but this one right here definitely makes a difference. This is by Shiseido. This is their Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. This one is phenomenal, especially around the pores, a little bit on the T-zone. Oh, man, this is so good. It's not one of those primers where it's mattifying, where it's gonna take away the shine. It just kind of very softly blurs your skin and gives the most beautiful finish to any base product that you wear. I just take some, and it's very liquidy, so that's why I was shaking it has a white color, but it's sheer. So I take some on my T-zone, especially right here on the forehead, 
and then kind of work it, warm it up, and just tap it into right here where my pores are. And you don't do this all the time. I don't. This is this is when I know I'm gonna wear more of like a really glowy, more of like a radiant finish foundation. If I'm wearing a matte foundation, I will skip this. This is more for those times where if it's too shiny on the forehead, you see it took away a little bit of that shine, but it still looks very glowy, still looks very healthy. Well, I mean, all of these products, you're, you're just applying them just to show the application, right? Correct, yes. I know a lot of people say like, man, there's a lot of stuff to put on your face. Yeah, I don't do this all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I just will use a little moisturizer and this right here and I'm out the door. Sometimes I will do all of these products just because I feel like it. But I'm just showing you guys as many products as I can on my face for the products that I recommend and what I will be repurchasing as well. All right, so let's move on to brows because I will do my brows first with this product before I do my foundation. This right here is by ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. I've mentioned this already multiple times. This product is really great for when you want um, groomed eyebrows, especially if they're a little bit overgrown. And I do this step first before I fill them in because I find that this really helps create the shape of your brows. And you can really maneuver this before it sets. And I like to use a very light hand, not too heavy handed because I can always go back in and add more instead of going really heavy handed and then I can't really take product out. I think this product is really good for those that have brows like mine. They're a little bit more sparse and you have a lot more shorter hairs. So this helps those shorter hairs blend in with the longer hairs and therefore your brows look not super bushy, but they look a little bit more groomed and manicured, if that makes any sense. But I have a tiny of, the, a lot of these brow hairs that just like to go down. So this really helps to help them stay in the shape that you create. So there are two brow pencils that I always purchase during the sale. It's my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit and then my ABH Brow Wiz in medium brown and 3.5 in Precisely My Brow Pencil. The reason why I purchase these during the sale is because I use them literally most every single day, maybe every other day, but these go so fast. So this is the time where I really kind of get a lot of backstock in my shades just because I will leave some in the studio, I will have some in my makeup bag, kind of like a lip balm. I wanna make sure I always have extras on hand. <laughs> okay, so moving on to my base. I have two base products that I think are worth looking into. So the first one is by Estee Lauder, their Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. This right here has been in my makeup bag, I think since it's been out, which I don't know when it came out, maybe last year, maybe in the summer or spring. But this right here is literally the sheer version of Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is perfect for spring and summer, literally perfect for those days where you want a little bit of coverage on your face, just to kind of color correct whatever else. But this is phenomenal, I like trying with this with these because they're so thin and the packaging is so nice it's a squeezy tube or like so but this product I really like and I haven't talked about this on my channel yet but I really enjoy this product right here it's perfect for those days it's kind of like the Fenty ease blurring skin tint but this has a little bit more coverage and I will say it definitely leans towards more of like a natural matte finish so definitely prep your skin with either more of like a hydrating primer or like a really nice thicker moisturizer but I really enjoy this right here. Today, I wanna use this, the Cogendo, their Aqua Foundation. I love this foundation. It's very pricey. I believe it's either 62 or $69, one of those, very pricey foundation. I just can't get enough of it. It's beautiful. I love the formula. I like the way it sits on my skin, especially for this time of the year where it's getting a little bit warmer outside, and I like pairing it with a skin blurring primer. I'm gonna use today the Bobbi Brown, the Full Coverage Face, which is one of my favorite foundations brushes very expensive a really great time to pick it up during the sale <laughs> actually was out of stock last sale so I'm gonna pick up one more just in case I ever break this or I lose it this is what the foundation looks like you can see it's very liquidy I just use one pump and it looks pretty light but it blends in really well I'll use a brush and then go over with my beauty blender. It doesn't have any kind of scent. I never have any kind of breakouts with this foundation. It's just really beautiful. 
I just love the finish of this and the coverage that I can get with just one pump with this foundation. It's very natural, it's still radiant, but it's not too shiny and too crazy dewy where I look very oily and very slick-like. But I love the feeling of this foundation. I will say it does have that tackiness just because it is an aqua foundation and it is a lot more radiant, so keep that in mind. Okay, let's move on to concealer. Actually, I have two concealers that I've been really loving. The first one is by Makeup Forever, their Ultra HD, their self-setting concealer. I like to mix it with this one or any other concealer that I've been really liking. This is by Dior, their Forever Skin Correct Concealer. But what I like about the Makeup Forever concealer is the way it looks under my eyes and on my face. Because it is a self-setting concealer, so pretty. It's still very malleable. You can still really stretch the concealer the way you want it to or where you want it to sit. But once it sets, it's so pretty under the eyes. Every concealer creases on me just because I have fine lines and it's inevitable that it's, it is going to crease, but this one doesn't crease extra. It only will crease where I have fine lines, but I just kind of fix it with either a makeup sponge, a makeup brush, or my finger, and it's beautiful. And it has that beautiful natural finish. It's not too matte, it's not too radiant, it's just a really beautiful concealer. And then this one right here, very full coverage and also sits really beautifully under the eyes. It never looks dry, it never looks cakey, it never looks crepey, and I just really like pairing these two concealers. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. Again, another great time to pick it up during the sale. These are phenomenal, but they don't last all the time. You do have to toss these <laughs> when they get pretty gnarly. In both the concealers, they blend really nice with a sponge, a brush, or your finger. I'm using a sponge just because the base is a little bit more radiant and more natural. All right, so these next ones, I really, really like. These are by Bobbi Brown. This is their Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. I have two shades. This one is in Golden Bronze and then Heather Steel. I like these two right here. I mean, all of their sticks are beautiful, but this Golden Bronze is so stunning. And then this one right here is Heather Steel, which is phenomenal for like an eyeliner. But I love that color. It's not black, it's not brown, it's that beautiful red in between. And I think mixed together, it's so stunning. You can wear these all over your eyes or as eyeliner, which I am going to do right now. And I'll be using one of my favorite brushes for eyeliner by Bobbi Brown. I mean, I've talked about this brush so many times. This is their Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. And then I'm gonna take the golden bronze and just bring that more on the top lash line and the lower lash line into the inner corner. Next, I wanna mention Sephora brushes. Sephora collection during the sale, in store and online, and you don't need a code, it's all 30% off, which is phenomenal. And I love, love my Sephora brushes. I have so many of them and multiples of each just because they're so great. They wash well, they, apply makeup well. They're just really great makeup brushes, so I definitely wanted to mention them as well. I'm just using number 18 brush. It's a really smaller, fluffy precision brush with my golden bronze shade, and I'm just gonna smoke out the lower lash line just a tad more. And I will say, the reason why I'm recommending the Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow Sticks, just because they are so creamy, but they're super long wearing. During the sale, I actually like to pick up a new mascara that I've never tried before, just to see if I'm gonna like it, you know, things like that. But I'm gonna recommend these two right here. The first one is a mascara primer by Lancome, and then the mascara I'm gonna talk about is the Rare Beauty, the Volumizing Mascara. I like these both together. I find that when I wear the primer, this mascara does not transfer on me. When I don't wear the primer, it can transfer on me depending what kind of makeup I'm wearing around my eyes, especially if I'm wearing like an eye cream and if I wear concealer and I don't set the concealer, I find that this can transfer on me. So with the primer, it doesn't transfer. The reason why I like this mascara is because the formula is really black with the first application, so you don't need to pack on the mascara as much as you think. It is a volumizing, so it's a little bit more of a drier formula, but, it doesn't flake on me. I like that a lot. Like I said, the only thing, it can transfer, but it doesn't flake, so I really appreciate it. But I do like these mixed or paired together. I appreciate these two a lot. All right, let's move on to blush. 
Honestly, this right here is the one I've been using nonstop. This is by Rose Ink and this is their lip and cheek color in Ophelia. I really like this shade. I like it on my lips. I like it on my cheeks and I love this formula. If you swatch it first, it feels very thick and kind of intense when you swatch it, but once you start blending in and you it sets, this blush doesn't go anywhere. It's so beautiful, the formula is stunning, and this is one of the few formulas that's a lip and cheek combined that's actually really comfortable on the lips as well. And I'll just use my It Cosmetics number seven Heavenly Luxe brush, brush. I like using something like this, something a little bit more dense for this type of blush. I mean, look how it, look how, pigmented this is but I just like this color in particular especially for the spring and summer I just think it's something something about it is so youthful play, playful my cheeks look really healthy and glowy I just really love this color and this formula for contour and bronzer I really like this Charlotte Tilbury this is the nude gasm face palette limited edition it's pricey so I would definitely pick it up during the sale and it's still available but this palette is so beautiful, it's so stunning. This contour in here is beautiful, this highlighter is stunning, and then this blush topper is stunning as well. But I feel like a lot of people will enjoy this, and the formula in this is so creamy, it's so blendable, it's so buildable. It's just, it's really, really stunning. I like to use this brush right here by Mario. This is their F1 brush. I like this brush because, again, it's dual, so you can really contour with this around your nose or whatever. This right here, I like that it's tapered a little bit at an angle. Not tapered, it's angled brush a little bit, but the brush itself is so soft. It's so soft, and it works beautifully with so many different formulas. I've used this with cream, with liquid, and with, with, um, powder and it's phenomenal. I'm gonna take my Sephora 15 brush and take the highlighter in here and use this as an inner corner highlight. I think I'm gonna set my face just a tad. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty. This is their Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder and Pound Cake. This is the mini version and I really like this setting powder. It's so good. I will say it is heavily scented. It's very scented and I usually don't like have, like such fragrance things on my on my face, but I overlook it because the setting powder is so good. To set my eyebrows, I usually use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I'll usually use this if I'm not using the ABH, but like I said, I wanna use as many products on my face to show you guys. Okay, so now that I'm ready for my lips, my lip balm treatment has kind of sunken into my lips already. And I'm gonna start with my lip liner and then my lipstick. So lip liner that I always repurchase, either same shade or try out different shades, is by Charlotte Tilbury, her Lip Cheat. This is in shade Iconic Nude, one of my favorites for every day. It works with so many different lipsticks, so many different formulas. It's such a beautiful color. And then for lipstick, <laughs> I've just, I've re-fallen in love with my YSL, the Rouge Volept Shine in number nine. So that is all the makeup. Let's move on quickly to some of the hair care and some of the tools that I really, really enjoy. So starting off first with body product. This is by Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. This is my second bottle. There's a tiny bit left because this packaging sucks. This is the only negative thing about this product. I love the way it feels on my skin. I love the way it blends into my skin. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel tacky. It looks healthy and I love the way this product sits and feels on my skin. The next thing is a deodorant. This right here is a love deodorant by myself and Andre. This is by Mason Louis Marie. This is their number four deodorant. It's so good. It's one of those few deodorants that's cleaner, but it doesn't leave my armpits irritated. They still smell really good as the day goes on, but it's not an antiperspirant, so keep that in mind. But it is a really good deodorant that both myself and Andre really enjoy. It's clear, it glides on clear, it doesn't feel sticky or tacky under the armpits, and I use this all year round, and it's one of those few, de few cleaner deodorants that actually works on me and Andre. He already asked me to buy some backups, and I said wait until the Sephora sale, because that's when I get them. Nice catch. <laughs> Next thing is for my cleanser. 
I always repurchase this one or the original by pharmacy. This one in particular is their clearly clean version. It doesn't have any scent in this and also I think they took out some ingredients to make it even cleaner. But this is on my list. I usually purchase three or four of them <laughs> during the sale just because I use these all the time when I wear makeup or skincare, whatever else. But this is my first cleanse that I do every single night to take off my makeup, my skincare, whatever else before the night. The next thing I wanna mention is a tool, a skincare tool. This right here is the Foreo. This is the, I think this is the Luna 3. This is the sensitive version, version, I believe. But I got this a while ago and I've only charged it once. When I first got it, I did a full charge and it's still charged to this day. It is phenomenal. I use this for my second cleanse with my second cleanser. And I love that you can program this to your specific needs. I usually use this for a minute straight. So I have four sections on my face that I divide, but I love that it kind of tells you when to move on to the next phase. And I like that it feels really great on my skin. I like that you can submerge this in water. And I love using this, especially when I have like a heavier makeup day to really get that second cleanse going great on my skin to get all of that grime and dirt and makeup off my skin. So I have four things for my hair care. The first one I will begin with kind of like how I wash my hair. So the very first one is by Fable and Maine. I've mentioned this already before. This is their Holly Roots Hair Oil. It's a pre-wash treatment. So I usually use this either the night before I'm gonna wash my hair or several hours either if I'm washing my hair that night to kind of really penetrate my scalp and the rest of my hair. This right here I think is my third or fourth bottle. I do use this like every couple of weeks depending on my the condition of my hair, my scalp, but I find that this really makes a difference with how my hair grows, how my hair feels, and I just really, really enjoy this, and plus it smells really good. And then in the shower, I actually use this hair mask by the same brand, brand Fable and Maine. This is their hair mask. It's rich, rich repair for stressed hair. This is phenomenal. This is why I said it's like an empties video, because. I pretty much have used all of it. And I use this pretty much every single time I shower my hair or once every other shower. So skipping one shower. But I enjoy this because it's one of those few hair masks that doesn't feel heavy on my fine hair. It just feels so nourished. My hair feels silky, it feels soft, it's manageable, and it's just phenomenal. And I can use this every single time I shower. I wash my hair every three, four days. But if you wash your hair every single day, I would do it maybe once every other shower. So these next two are styling treatments after you wash your hair. So basically, uh, like frizz tamers, leave-in conditioner, detangler, heat protection, and also gives you shine. This first one is by Revere, I don't know how to pronounce it, Revere? No idea, I'm butchering it completely and I'm so sorry. But this product is really good. I usually do four pumps of this and the pumps are very, very tiny, the amount, the, the amount that comes out. And I'll usually mix it in with this. This is by IGK. They're good behavior four in one prep spray. I usually do two pumps of this with four pumps of this. And it's a really great cocktail for for my hair and I really enjoy both products. I find that my hair is again very manageable, it's very soft, it's shiny and I enjoy how my hair feels and looks with these two products. Last but not least is a hair tool. I know you probably think I'm gonna mention the Dyson which I think it is a great time to buy it during the sales but I'm gonna mention a different tool. This is by GHD. This is their soft curl 1.25 inch curling iron. I really like this one because of how easy it is to use when I want to do the twisting method for my hairstyle, the way I curl and style my hair. The actual barrel is saw itself. It's very gentle on the hair and the clip itself is very easy to control. It's not like a sticky type of a click, but it clip, but it still has a nice good force to it, but I can use it and use it to my advantage. It doesn't work against me, it works with me. The only thing I will complain about is the hair temp. I wish I could control it lower than 365. That's what it goes up to is 365 degrees Fahrenheit. I wish I could bring it down below 350 just for my hair type. The only other thing I will complain about is beside the temp is sometimes this can smell. I don't know if it's this right here because it smelled like this when I purchased it when I first purchased it. Yeah, so it's not for my hair 
products that I use just because I tested it before without hair products and with hair products and it still has that same smell. But I find that the more I wash it and clean it, it doesn't smell as much. So I think it's definitely some kind of coating on the actual barrel itself. Okay. I am all done with my recommendations and products that I will repurchase. I'm not repurchasing all of this just because like brushes, for instance, I'm not gonna be purchasing more brushes because I already have multiples of each. Not repurchasing this because I already have it, but I think it's a great time to invest in something like this and some of the other hair tools. But again, you guys, this is a sale. You don't need to shop it. I just wanna be a helpful resource of products that I think are definitely worth investing into, products that are worth repurchasing over and over again, especially during this time of the year where they are having a really great sale. So kind of stocking up on products that you use on an everyday basis. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my recommendations. But for now, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you the next one very soon. Bye.